Guardian is our tool that is very focused exclusively on the security of model artifacts. That's really what we're after. And if we look at the big picture of how it fits with other parts in our ecosystem, we have this bug bounty program called Hunter, it has about 16,000 active members. Right now they're finding vulnerabilities in the open source libraries around machine learning, around data science tools, and also vulnerabilities in the model formats themselves. So when you save a model, it's not just a text file, it's either JSON or Safe Tensors or Pickle, for example, and we have researchers actively working to find vulnerabilities in those model formats. So that comes in, that gives us information that we can use to build Guardian. So Guardian sits inside your environment and it allows you to gate models before they're deployed or before your data scientists use them so you can know that the model is actually safe for use, doesn't contain any kind of malicious code, for example. We often get customers started with Guardian Scanner. What this is going to do is it sits inside your CI CD process. So before you deploy a model, it's gonna wake up, it's gonna take say, this is the model we're deploying, it's going to scan it in isolation, understand if that model is secure as your posture has defined it, then actually deploy the model or break the deployment if not. Similarly, we offer a mode called Guardian Gateway. This is for all your data scientists who want to explore, they want to learn from new models, they want to get started with things from Hugging Face. And what this does is it basically gates the model and says, okay, let's hijack that request, bring it in, proxy it, find out if that model is secure before the user gets access to it. So with that, I'm gonna cut right over into the product itself and first show you the kind of Guardian console. This is the UI, kind of the control plane of managing your security posture. So everything in Guardian is controlled via a policy and your policies can either be on first party, your own models, or they can be set to third parties or the models that you're bringing in from tools like Hugging Face. So you can scroll, you can see certain policies that are in place for various things, or for third parties, we can even th do things like license existing, or we can edit and say what licenses for open source models we think are appropriate and gate the models coming in or out based on that. Once that's in place, the models are scanning based on deployments. I'll show some code samples in a moment. But at the end of it, you get a scan log for every model. So if I take a look at this, you can see these are the models across Hugging Face that users made requests to. Uh, and what you can see is really a common approach that we do see is like name squatting, where this is not 23andMe. It has nothing to do with the real 23andMe, but they do own this Hugging Face account and they reliably use it to push malicious models that are compromised and will just ruin your day. So if we look at one of these particular models, someone tried to request it, I'll show how in just a moment, and it failed, it means that the user did not get access to this model. If we wanna see a little bit more information, we hit view response and dig in and say, you know, basically the model didn't have a license, therefore that license is not valid for use. We can actually get into the code and actually find where in the model arbitrary code execution was happening when that model would have been used. So what we've done is without ever having to modify any code for a data scientist, we've prevented them from leveraging or using a model that would have been malicious that they would have had no idea was exploited beforehand. And so the last thing I wanna show here uh, is really taking a look at how Guardian works. So the first thing I'd like to show is like if I'm a data scientist using Guardian Gateway, uh, I actually don't really need any additional libraries. What I do need is this one environment variable right here. Uh, there's some other code here for other demo purposes, but really I just need to run this and I need to make sure this environment variable is set. We would recommend that you put this in your deployment automation, not in your Jupyter Notebook. This is for demo purposes. That is the only reason it's here. But after that, we have code of going to fetch a model. This is exactly what I'd see if I go to Hugging Face now, I grab a model to like fetch. This is the API code they're gonna like Python snippet they're gonna show. So we can run this and this is gonna take a moment. It's gonna reach out, it's gonna try to grab the model. In this case, it's gonna go to our internal environment, find out if we've already scanned the model or not. In this case, we, we haven't. Or for this one, it actually, this one actually worked just fine. So it's gonna say that, oh, you know what? We're gonna allow you to get this model and now I have access to it. However, we can also scan malicious models and see how those behave as well. Uh, let's see here. I want to cancel this one. So with this, what we'll do is make sure we have the client installed and import it. We'll set some credentials. So we'll grab that, we'll go for the scan uh, and we'll wait for it to run really quickly. And here, this one actually worked perfectly. Let us know that basically it didn't, it basically was blocked because it violated our policies. Yeah, so that's Guardian kind of end to end from the data scientist's perspective, the end user's perspective. And you can put all this together to really get back and bring you know, a cohesive view to security of running machine learning models against threats. So thanks for the time, everyone. Appreciate it. And any questions, I'll be here after.